Hey guys, Prince of Mastodon here. I'm gonna do this commentary video for Rome Total War. This will be a multiplayer battle, and this will be a seven-player free-for-all, six-player free-for-all, four-way free-for-all, 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 free-for-all battle, six-player free-for-all battle. So good game to everybody here. I'll see you guys later. Hello guys and welcome to a new video and no I'm not the Prince of Macedon and no you're not watching it free for all because it's not playable in Rome 2. Uh, so I thought this would be the best intro for this video because Prince of Macedon for me is just the god of free for all gameplay. When I wasn't playing that much Total War at all, when I wasn't known in this Total War scene, I used to watch Prince of Macedon, I used to search YouTube, Prince of Macedon, free for all, one unit free for all, Prince of Mount Macedon, FFA, you know? It was so awesome, because the gameplay was different, the guy was really good, I loved his commentary, but especially the game mode and the battles on itself were really awesome, and that's why I want to put out this video, I want to have a little discussion with you guys, and a little... Uh, yeah, a little talk, a little opinion of mine about this game mode and why I want to see it added in the game. So in the background you're looking at a Rome 2 gameplay, you're looking at a 4 versus 4, 3 units only gameplay. So you can only bring 3 units and no uh, horse archers, no chariots and no elephants. So it's pretty cool, I'm using Macedon with a companion cavalry and 2 royal peltas. So you can just watch that in the background, it's probably a little bit cut, depends on the length of my commentary here. But free for all, so yeah, I think this game mode is really missing. Uh, it was present until Medieval 2, I think, and since Empire, we didn't see it uh, return yet. Uh, it's really sad, in my opinion, because of course we have a lot of game modes. We have ambush battles, city assaults, we have port assaults, we have combined battles, normal land battles, night battles. But it's just something different, because free for all really changed the gameplay. In free for all, the strengths and weaknesses of your faction mattered even more. The tactical differences were so big, you needed to pick the right enemy for you. For example, if you were playing with uh, Partia, for example, you probably brought a lot of cavalry, a lot of cataphracts, and you wanted to get the enemies, the opponents, that gave you the most kills. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but you had two victory conditions in free for all. You had last man standing, which pretty much speaks for itself. And you had scored resolution, and in scored resolution, you needed to get the most effective kills. I don't remember how that were counted exactly, uh, but pretty much you needed to get kills. Um, and that was really cool because if you would go for the wrong enemies that would give you kills but not that much, your army would just die off, not getting enough kills to win the game. You really need to choose the right opponent. When you spawn in the game, of course, you spawn next to two opponents, and you really need to look oh, I'm playing against Rome. And the other side against Armenia, which one is better for me or should I avoid conflict at all at this stage? And that was just a whole different thing because in 1 versus 1, 2 versus 2, it's just you need to attack, there's one opponent uh, and yeah, you need to get the job done basically. This is different. Um, but as said, we've lost it unfortunately and I think it really serves a great addition. It would be a great and simple addition to the multiplayer of modern Total War games. I do know we're probably not going to get it because of course the main advantage is that it's so different, it's so much fun, it's still my favorite battle type ever in Total War series, as said also because of Prince of Macedon, uh, thanks for using that footage by the way Prince, but yeah, um, but yeah I liked Freefall so much, I love the game mode, it was amazing, uh, it was easy, it was just an easy change but so much different in terms of strategy and tactics, you know? And I think the same can happen in Rome 2. I don't think it's that much of a change as well. It shouldn't be that hard to implement. But of course, there are a few weaknesses. First of all, it's probably that the engine doesn't support it right now. It probably can work, but it's maybe it's just time and energy and effort and something that's free for us. So why would they do it, you know? Just to please the fans, of course. But they really need to be... Uh, um, a hype around it, I don't know, they will not waste their time on something people will never play, you know? Uh, that's one thing, of course. The second is that because of the modern day graphics, it might lag easier, because Rome 2 multiplayer is already laggy, especially the larger games. However, I do think that when you play with lower unit sizes, it's not that bad, and you can already play with large armies and 4 vs 4s and stuff like that, so it isn't that much of a change. Um, another weakness could be, uh, I had connection of course, connection is always a problem. Um, so yeah, what, what really is the downside? 
that's my main concern and there isn't really that m many downside except for a cool new game or the fans really want so uh, in Rome 2 it could really be of course in Rome 2 you also have the strength and weaknesses of um, yeah that Rome 1 had you have for example Adrian Kingdom, Infantry only, Spartan, Spear only Partia, extremely powerful cataphracts you just need to pick the right opponent for your battles and in a free for all engagement that would be really really cool in my opinion so this is just my take on this i would like to open a discussion with this please let me know in the comments what you think about free for all do you want to see it added in the game and how do you think about free for all in general um waste is it worth the money or is it just a waste of time what do you think let me know because of course we will not see it at attila and not on rome 2 but i hope we'll see it return after that i know prince of macedon is also fighting for this uh, keep it to tell a CA about it, but yeah, it's just not happening right now And I would like to see that change in the future So hope you enjoyed this little opinion based video and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background And I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys later